What's up guys, welcome to 4 Minute Film School. I'm Naris from the A-Team. Today I'm here with Eric Lombard. Eric Lombard is a cinematographer who has shot for huge YouTubers like Anna Akana, Shane Dawson. He shot comedy sketches, makeup videos, music videos. His videos have over 100 million views online. Today Eric is gonna be walking us through three different ways you can light a prison scene. So, setup number one is a scene from Mindhunters and it is the visitor's room. So Eric, tell us, what did you do for that lighting setup? I was trying to recreate the look of fluorescent overheads with a little sun coming through a window in the background. We set up a 120D with a light dome coming from overhead right over the table where our main character was sitting. And that was to give us just a soft overhead ambient. And then since it was a bigger space, we needed a little bit more overhead light. So we put an LS1S against the wall to recreate an overhead fluorescent there. I popped a 120D through the window in the background to simulate sunlight. So I put the magenta filter on the 120D coming through the window, and then I white balanced to that so that the sunlight would look white, but everything else that doesn't have a gel on it inside would look green. And that was to imitate the green fluorescent look without having to put green gel on every single light. It was just a more efficient way of getting that same look. And the LS1 half, I put as just another edge to kind of like augment the sunlight coming through, edged them on the other side. Also, it could function as more overhead top light. That creates some shadows like in his eyes and everything. And we wanted to get a little bit more of a key coming from the side. So yeah, in order to get that, we used a 120D into a mini dome. Had I done it again, I would put like a six by silk or something in front of that to just make it even softer. So for the second scene, we actually went inside a jail cell and we wanted to recreate a scene from Shawshank Redemption. So Eric, how do we do that? We started with the key light, which was a mini 20 with two orange filters put in there to make it a little bit warmer. I had some diffusion on that also, just to soften up shadows on his face a little bit. Then I pumped in a 120D with a Fresnel and some black wrap to kind of like snoot it a little bit so it wasn't just blasting all over the place. And the purpose of that was to recreate light coming from the rest of the jailhouse, like as if it were just flooding into the room. And that gives him a nice edge. Then I put a 120D with a Fresnel just way in the background through another jail set that was there. It had some bars so that we, we got a nice shapes on the wall behind the jail cell door. Then we hung an LS1 half and we put CTO and some diffusion on that. And that basically recreated just one tungsten light if it were hanging on the ceiling of a jail cell. We uh, attached an M9 to the wall, which created a practical from the jail cell. So it would be as if there were just like lights along the wall. It sounds like a lot of this lighting that you did was more focused on the practicals and the backgrounds than it was on, you know, his actual face. Why is it important to always consider your practicals? I think the practicals provide motivation for everything and helps give little spots of brightness in the background for like to give some dynamics so that you can augment those with film lights. The color temperature for that scene was 5600 so that it was balanced to the 120 outside and that's why I put the CTO in the mini 20s and the overhead light so that those were a little bit warmer as if the jail cell had a warm light inside of it and that everything else outside was white. So for the third scene, we wanted to recreate a scene from American Hustle where Amy Adams' character is in the holding cell. We used two lights for that one. Yeah. What were those lights? Those lights were a 120D with a light dome uh, going through a six by silk, very soft side light. We bounced a 120D with a Fresnel off of a reflector. The bounce by itself created a little bit too harsh of a shadow, so we popped the silk in front of it to make the book light, and it really softened up the shadows and made it a lot more pleasing on the face. So we're going for a warmer look. So rather than gelling the lights that are set to 6,000 color temperature, 6,000 Kelvin, I decided to just keep those white and then put the white balance at 8,000 on the camera so that everything looked very warm and orange. So Eric, when I think of prison cell lighting, I think of really harsh, intense shadows. Why do we do book lighting? The simple reason is to recreate the reference photo, um, which apparently David O. Russell likes to light everything fairly flat so he can just move the camera around wherever very quickly. Mm. I think it also creates an overall dimmer atmosphere that's all fill versus like any specific key light that looks like it's motivated from some source somewhere in the room. 
So there's your episode of 4 Minute Film School with Eric Lombard. I'm Nares from the A-Team. Leave a comment below with your favorite prison scene and you can win an Aperture M9. Follow Eric Lombard on Instagram and YouTube at Eric Lombard. Don't forget to follow Aperture on Facebook, Instagram, The Works. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. I'm Nares from the A-Team and we'll catch you guys next time.